Now back to the technical problems with healthcare.gov. Some of the administration's top computer experts appeared today before a House committee that was demanding to know what went wrong. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill for us tonight. Nancy? Scott, these are the managers who have really been on the front lines of creating and now fixing healthcare.gov. In fact, one even testified that he slept on his office floor the week that the site launched. But none of them were really able to explain why this product they worked on for years was so flawed. Do you solemnly swear? Under oath, some of the administration's top technology officers testified they were caught off guard by the website's poor performance even though they knew well in advance that some key components weren't working, like a feature that allowed users to comparison shop for insurance plans without creating an account. It failed so miserably that we could not consciously uh, let people use it. Henry Chow is the manager at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid who was most involved in developing the website. He came in for the most criticism from Republicans, like Tennessee's Scott Desjardins. Knowing what you know now, would you have pushed harder to move the date back? I go by what I said. So you would let history repeat itself. It's been a rocky, Mr. Park. What I said. Would you have? Would you have? That is not what I said. Utah Republican Jason Chaffetz had questions for Chow about the site's security. Mr. Chow, would you put all your personal information about you and your loved ones in it? Yes, in fact, I've uh, recommended my sister, uh, who is unemployed right now, to um, actually... Did she successfully register? I, I haven't talked to her lately. He said the site can now accommodate about 20 to 25,000 users at one time. A big improvement from the first week, but still far short of the original goal of 50 to 60,000. I'm part of an all hands on deck effort that's been mobilized across the administration. Todd Park is the chief technology officer for the White House. He's now working full time on fixing the website. South Carolina Republican Trey Gowdy wanted a timeline. When will it be uh, operational to your satisfaction? Well, we have a goal that the team is pursuing uh, with tremendous intensity. How many more weeks? I'm looking for a number. Uh, that's working hard to have the site functioning by the end of this month. That carefully crafted answer, which was repeated more than once, led some lawmakers to believe that the administration's confidence that it can really get all these bugs fixed by November 30th may be slipping, Scott. Nancy, thank you.